Uh, verse 11. <clears throat> Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The terror of the Lord. We persuade men. <laughs> but we are made manifest unto God. Uh -huh. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Mm -hmm. For we commend not ourselves again unto you. But give you occasion of glory on our behalf that we may have <laughs> somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance is. Yes. And not in heart. <laughs> For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God. <laughs> or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. <laughs> For the love of Christ constraineth us. <laughs> because we thus judge. <laughs> that if one died for all, then we are all dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Semicolon. Uh -huh. And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves. <laughs> but unto him which died for them and rose again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, wherefore, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh. Yep. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, mm, he is a new creature. <laughs> Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, mm -hmm. who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. <laughs> now, there's that word reconciliation. <laughs> you know, there was this uh, this evaluation that I had on Guam, yes. that I should reconcile with my wife if she wanted to. Yes. And I called Healthy Families, yes, and I mentioned it, mm -hmm. thinking that they would have had a copy, yes, of the stipulation and order that allowed me to leave Guam, right? Uh -huh. And then there was the drug and alcohol uh, evaluation where I had not drank or used any drugs for twenty years, yeah. And then there was the suggestion that since we had an argument on July second of two thousand eleven, yes, about the spending of our welfare benefits, which. <laughs> That marriage reconciliation should have been um, pursued. Yeah. Now, today, mm -hmm. I like to do a little reconciling myself. I like to have custody of my sons. Yes. I like to sue each and every court in the United States that has any, any knowledge of yes. the abuse of power of the use of the courts. Yes. I'd like to have custody of my sons. Yes. And I'd like to speak to Marilyn Van Proyen. Yes. About some ways that we as parents yes. could parent our children mm -hmm. without using their noses as communication systems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when I sleep, yes, I don't want to be groaning. No, I don't want to be shivering. No, I don't want to be sweating. No, I want to just be able to sleep knowing that if I were to talk in my sleep, yes, that whomever I'm sleeping with when hearing what I'm saying, yes, would not have any top secret. Do you understand the way? Mm -hmm. Now, there was this thought that you're just going to talk through the mouths of children. Yes. The nose is going to hear. Uh -huh. You're going to be on them while they're sleeping. Yes. And you're just going to use the little minds and bodies of children to be able to communicate with each other. <laughs> now, for every cop and every police department mm -hmm, that has to be on their child while they sleep, yes. I think you've been saying some things that children wouldn't say. Yes. So that whomever the nose is that's on them. Yeah. You would just be profane. Pooch. Cursing. Yeah. You were intentionally trying to deprive children of the tranquility of sleep. <laughs> now today, Sheriff. <laughs> I'd like you to enforce the laws. Yes. And then I'd like to sleep in a bed. Yes. Where Marilyn Van Proyen is sleeping next to me. Yes. So that if I was to talk in my sleep. Yes. She wouldn't care. Poop. She'd probably roll me over and say, shut up. <laughs>